Appointed lawyers for Keith D have requested his release on bail, citing the 60-year-old Keith's poor health after battling cancer, which is currently in remission. A Las Vegas judge has set a bail amount of $750,000, and Keith's lawyers said that they believe they can post the bail. Meanwhile, investigators have reportedly started gathering evidence on Keith's past claims that Diddy. Why is it always about money? And it's big money. This court system, man, that that kind of pissed me off right there. Hey, I'm ready now. What is up? Check it out, Lord have mercy. Are we serious? Dude, I'm hoping, I'm praying, man, but don't look like, don't look too good, man. I'm hoping and I'm praying and it don't look too good. That's the only thing I'm going to say. Um, Then they saying that the dude, you know, Sean, you know, I don't want, I don't want Diddy to be gay. But, hey, it's too many people saying, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> he, ain't, he ain't saying nothing back. I definitely don't want him to have anything to do with Tupac because I was a bad boy fan. You know what I'm saying? I was I was into um, the bad boy um, with, Big, with Biggie, Faith Evans, Mary J. Blodge. The, the record label sound is what taught me how to – produce music how to play instruments and different things to this hip-hop sound i fell in love with hip-hop because of the east coast puffy sound not west coast you know i never liked the west coast sound and i don't have nothing against i ain't want nobody to be dead <laughs> shit i mean shoot anyway y'all hit that subscribe button hit that bell baby i'm gonna give my thumbs up Oh my God, this is way out of my territory. Let's check it out. Another problem is that the confession from a participant in the crimes is Keefe D, a convicted drug dealer and documented gang member, making a claim against a powerful music icon, namely Puff Daddy. I told you, I told you, you can't trust these. Puffy doesn't kill Tupac, man. If they can find oh someone God. close to Puff Dude. that can say, yes, everything Keefe D just said is true, then they have a corroborating witness. A bombshell audio recording just leaked, seemingly proving long-standing speculations about Diddy orchestrating the murder of Tupac Shakur. This is major news because Tupac murder suspect Dwan Keith D. Davis will stand trial in Las Vegas on June 2024. And I'm gonna get my, my thoughts real talk. My real talk thoughts at the end. Here we the go. FBI has reported Crips gang member Dwayne Keith Keithy D. Davis to kill Shakur and Suge Knight. The bounty was $1 million. It's been a little over three months since Diddy's former associate and gang member Dwan Keith D was arrested for his involvement in the 1996 murder of Tupac Shakur, and the trial date has been set for the next summer. Keith D's trial will start on June 3, 2024. However, this case recently took an interesting turn after reports emerged that Keith could be released from jail and placed under house arrest. According to the LA Times, court-appointed lawyers for Keith D have requested his release on bail, citing the 60-year-old Keith's poor health after battling cancer, which is currently in remission. A Las Vegas judge has set a bail amount of $750,000, and Keith's lawyers said that they believe they can post the bail. Meanwhile, investigators have reportedly started gathering evidence on Keith's past claims that Diddy- Why is it always about money? And it's big money. 
this court system, man, that that kind of pissed me off right there. If you got him in jail all this time, if he can post bail, what what does that got to do with if he? Oh my God! Here we go. Offered him one million dollars to kill both Tupac and Suge Knight, and the Sun just obtained an exclusive transcript of an audio recording submitted as evidence, where Diddy can be heard telling Keith he wants Pac and Suge gone. The recording was originally made during a 2008 LAPD interview with Keith, and the reason it's become available is because Las Vegas prosecutors in Keith's murder trial entered the tape as a key piece of evidence. According on, to the Sun, man. in the audio recording, Keith talks to the police about Diddy orchestrating Tupac's killing in September 1996 in Las. Vegas. And then Keith goes on to say he oversaw the fatal shooting of Tupac at the request of Diddy. Keith can also be heard on the tape repeatedly telling the officers that Diddy wanted Suge Knight and Tupac dead. According to the transcript obtained by The Sun, Keith told the cops that Diddy declared, man, I want to get rid of those dudes. Keith also told LAPD officers that Diddy discussed his hatred of Suge Knight to Crip gang members who were covering his security detail after a concert in Anaheim, California. Keith said, All he said he would give us anything for those dudes' heads, Come you know? on, man. Later on the recording, Keith tells the officers how he grew close to Diddy through mutual friend and gang member Eric Von Zip Martin. And he also says that Diddy proposed a million dollar reward to the Crips in exchange for Suge and Tupac's murders. We wanted a million, Keith says on the recording, adding that he told Diddy, we would wipe their asses out quick, you know? It is nothing. Keith also added that Diddy was terrified of Suge, telling the officers, Puffy was scared of the dude, period. As for the time and place of the alleged assassination order, Keith said on the recording that the order was given privately to him by Diddy. It was just me and him, Keith said. He also repeated on the tape that Diddy had several conversations with him, telling him to, quote, kill both of them. According to the audio recording transcript, after the shooting, Keith fled Las Vegas and shortly after, he met with Eric Von Zip at a Hot Wings restaurant in West Hollywood, expecting to be paid. Keith alleges on the recording that Diddy called Von Zip, who handed the cell phone over, and Diddy asked, was that us? When Keith responded, yes, he said Diddy was happy. Oh my God. I already know. I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait to the end. According to confession, he never received the money Diddy promised him for the shooting, and Zip claimed that, quote, Puffy hasn't paid him yet. However, Now that's the key. That's the stupid key right there. I want y'all to really remember that. He keeps saying that he Puffy didn't pay. Y'all know how much money Puffy worth, right? We're talking one million. And you, 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 I'm going to wait to the end. I'm going to wait to the end. Another acquaintance later told Keith that Von Zip secretly pocketed the cash and used it to open a club. Keith eventually ended up in prison and he never saw Diddy in person again. As for Von Zip, he died on August 27, 2012, allegedly due to the complications of cancer. According to The Sun, the prosecutors made a bold move by deciding to present the tape as evidence, even though it came with its fair share of legal complexities. Keith believed that the confession tape wouldn't come back to haunt him because back in December 2008, he thought he had lost in immunity by teaming up with the LAPD. This arrangement, known as a profer, gave him a safety net, ensuring he wouldn't face consequences for his revelations. However, the catch was that this deal could crumble if Keith spilled the beans publicly or got caught lying to the police. But fast forward to Tuesday, January 9th, and prosecutor Binu Palau dropped a bomb in front of Judge Carly Kearney, Keith's defense claiming he fabricated his role in Tupac's murder for fame and fortune, turned the tide, and suddenly the entire interview became fair game as admissible evidence. Now, here's the kicker. Instead of cherry-picking key moments, the prosecutors decided to include the whole tape. Diddy allegations and all. The anticipation is building up because, come June, the plan is to have the entire recording played for the jurors, which means Diddy will most likely be implicated in the trial. And now, members of the Shakur family are also calling on the authorities to investigate Diddy's alleged involvement in Pac's murder. Back in October, shortly after Keith's arrest, Tupac's brother, Mo Prem Shakur, said he's still waiting for the police to address Diddy allegations. Mo Prem suggested that this whole deal with Keith getting arrested is just the tip of the iceberg and the family is waiting on the police to go after the big shot who supposedly ordered the hit on Tupac. You know, they make it seem like <laughs> Man. Now, are they going to make everyone that he's talking about, if they're using to drop this indictment, accountable? The interviewer then directly asked Mo Prem about Diddy's supposed ties to Tupac's murder, and Mo Prem said it's the authorities' job to dig into every name Keith spilled during those interviews, and that includes Diddy. Law enforcement has a job to do. Will they do it? It does feel like, you know, Pac is being vindicated because 
you know, back in them days when things were going down, everybody thought he was crazy. He may not have expressed it uh, properly, but that don't mean he was wrong. And then last month, true. Tupac's cousin, William Lassane, said during his appearance on The Art of Dialogue that he believes there's definitely some truth to those allegations about Diddy's involvement. And he wants to see those allegations properly investigated. I just don't feel like that anymore. But I do feel that he has to be held accountable if it's true. And I think there's a lot of truth to what has been said. So. But that's not all William said. He also believes that the authorities are already investigating Diddy and waiting for the right moment to go full throttle and file charges against him. The only reason why they didn't arrest Puff yet is because they don't have corroborate. Now, on the other hand, this is <laughs> because they don't have what? <laughs> he, t he talk like me. <laughs> the right moment to go full <laughs> he didn't even say the and full file sentence. charges against him. The, the only reason why they didn't arrest Puff yet is because they don't have corroborate. Now, on the other hand, this is just a guess, my opinion. Uh, I think, in my opinion, I think that Puff is being investigated. I think that they're waiting or they may be waiting for an opportunity for him to incriminate himself, just like Keefy D did. You know. And then Greg Taylor, the CEO of G Music, pointed out that the police did arrest Diddy just days after they arrested Keith D, although it was supposedly for a traffic violation. They arrested Puff. He went to jail right after Keith D early in the morning, but they said it was for a traffic ticket. Oh, <laughs> oh my but God. But he went to jail. He got he got taken in down in Miami. Do you go to jail for a traffic ticket? No, <laughs> but they said it was for a traffic ticket. But man, he did go to jail and get money. turned in. Come on, man. Puff and, got too, and, and way too much does, money. I mean, when you when you put two million dollars on a person's head, you really that, that, that dude's too powerful. To, you can't fight with money like that. Now, this incident Greg Taylor was referring <laughs> to took place on September 30th, just nah, one day man, after Keith no. D was arrested. The police stopped Diddy while he was taking a spin on a golf cart through the streets of Miami, supposedly because the music he was blasting was too loud. Diddy put on his friendly act while talking to the officer, but as soon as the officer left, Diddy told him to eat a D. Hello, how are you? Uh uh. -oh. Good. Yeah, good. You hear the new album? Huh? You hear the new album, the love album. I want you to hear it. I want you to hear it. And when you hear it, I want you to blast that shit as loud as you can. Alright. Because you can do that. The love album. We, the love album. I'll blast that at home. Okay, blast cool. Alright, thank you for your service. I need it. Oh, it's <laughs> Friday. What did you think he was going to get? <laughs> now, Greg Taylor claimed that Diddy went to jail later that day with his lawyers. However, this hadn't been confirmed by any police sources. Either way, it looks like a lot of people are impatient to see what Keith D's trial in June will reveal about Diddy's alleged involvement in Tupac's murder. One fan said, like Pac said, anyone can be touched. It happened to Cosby, R. Kelly. Who is Diddy then? If you're dirty and found wanting, you have something coming to you in just a matter of time. True. However, true. another person wrote, Diddy is protected by the higher ups. Kaluminati, this deeper than rap. But how do you feel about this new audio recording being submitted as evidence in Keith D's trial? Do you think it could lead to Diddy being prosecuted? Comment down below and then check out this next video. <sighs> all right. First of all, I'm going to give y'all all the obvious. Number one, Puffy got too much money. Do not get the top of the line lawyers. Let's stay on the money side to defend him for these he say, she says, even if something is on tape saying, man, I want them guys gone. That don't mean I I, I ordered a hit. You know, um, I want these bed bugs out of my house and I that don't mean I ordered a hit. I'm just playing. Anyway, um, um, on the money side, on the money side, the type of money Puffy has, even if he did order the hit and it was a million dollar hit, this is what this now we're going to talk about my opinion on this side. If I was Puffy with the type of money I had and if I did, which I would never, ever, ever, boy, it's a higher God that I believe in. First of all, I would never order somebody to be dead or killed, you know, unless you did something to my family. I handle that shit myself. That's number one. Um, but if I did order a hit on somebody for one million dollars, I would have paid them. If you if you order, think about it, man. I ordered a hit. Well, y'all only did half the job. We're gonna do five hundred thousand. Nah, 
I'm a big time person, so I'm not, dude. Why am I not gonna pay him? What make it so bad is the dude said, "Well, the other guy took all the money and give me my money." Okay, well here's another million. <laughs> I'm gonna, this time I'm make sure you get paid. Real talk. I ain't, I ain't got time for this because I'm a big dude. You know what I'm saying, dude? Last thing I'm gonna say, man, because this 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 video was way too long. Um. This stage is a stage. It's a play. This whole thing is a play. Puffy is sitting back chilling, saying, well, they ain't got nothing on me, but they building it up like a, like a, like a, um, like a, what you call the damn thing? Um, as the world turned, all my children, um, a, a soap opera. Ain't nothing but a real life soap opera for everybody, man. Puffy is not going to do no time over that. Especially with all this gay stuff they saying he gay. Now, y'all know good and well the men be um, um, behind closed doors or whatever the case may be, they got a little craziness. The, the Catholic church got a little ca craziness uh, messing with boys, little kids and all. Them, them people, them people sick, man. And they got this power, this money. They got this power to cover up their sickness. They cover up their sickness. And if Puffy is one of them, shame on you. But they going to help cover him up. They going to, I bet you that they can say Puffy went to jail and take him right out the back door and put him on some type of big old Allen with all the mother gays, if he's gay. We don't know. We over here jumping from left to right. Um, Him and Will Smith and all the other people that's doing crazy stuff. I know one thing. And I just got to speak for myself. And it, one, Hey, I'm going to say this, and I'm going to leave it alone. It sure is funny how you see Jazzy Jeff and Fresh Prince. Now, I did a lot of stuff. I, I don't know them personally, but I did a lot of um, stuff up in New York and on shows and different things where they was there. They, was, they are tight. Them, they boys. Now, all of a sudden, if, I don't know, if Will Smith is a little on the Sugar Bridges side and his boy, DJ Jazzy Jeff, think about it. Will Smith is way up here. And Jazzy Jeff, you don't need hardly hear nothing about him. He was like, nah, dog. Man, me and you boys, I don't go that way. I keep my mouth shut. And I'm just, I just want to be a DJ. Cause I ain't with that gay stuff. That's what I'm thinking. That's my personal opinion. You know what I'm saying? Um, Will Smith has played um, um, gay parts in a movie. If I got one, two, three, four, five million dollars, I can't play no gay part. I'm sorry. I'm Cat Williams on you for that one. I'm, that's just me. I can't wear no dress. I'm sorry. I ain't, I ain't putting on no dress. Especially with the stigma that, about the putting on the dress. You're like, you, you put on the dress, that means you'll do anything for them. Yeah, you right. If I put on, a, if I was got stardom because I'm wearing dresses or whatever the case may be, which oh, that even sound ugly coming out my mouth. Well, anyway, y'all get the point. Y'all got the point. Puff ain't gonna do no time unless he straight up did it. Y'all take a like, take a slow, tell him Mike Cross. Told you so. Peace out. Boy got way too much money right now.